28 years, Professor. Let's see what kind of galaxy we woke up to. Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. Now today, it is about 36 hours until I move to Hong Kong. So you may be asking yourself, why are you making a video? I don't quite know myself, but this is a video you guys really wanted. A Halo Wars 2 banished slash Halo Infinite diorama. I'm tremendously excited about it, and it's gonna be absolutely wild. We're gonna start, as we mean to go on, with this beast here. This thing is a funny one. My dad actually made this when I was a child, and it's been sat in the attic for many years, and I just realized it would make an awesome banished base. So, we're gonna start it off with this anti-air gun. Now, I was really inspired by the new Halo Infinite trailer, so I thought I'd do something inspired by that. We've got this anti-air gun, and that's what's starting off this banished diorama. I think first I'll get some base plates down. We got all of these bases here today, and this one here. And we've also got this little rod here, which is really useful for a banished banshee. Very nice. We'll just secure that on there. That's the start of our diorama. So, I've also got some very interesting pieces here. All of these... <laughs> All of these cave pieces. These are from some old Megablocks pirate sets, maybe. And these are going to sort of set the scene. My idea is that this is a banished camp around a Forerunner facility that's inside a cave. Maybe on Zeta Halo, because that's apparently where Halo Infinite's set. And we're going to have the cave the UNSC forces are pushing in, and maybe that some of them have already been shot down. So we'll attach some of these base plates together. Okay. Desert bricks. Always nice. And we can just find some little ones to secure all these base plates together. And yeah, guys, it is, um, at the time of recording this, it is basically 36 hours till I move to Hong Kong start my brand new life with my girlfriend. Couldn't be happier about it. It's a little stressful getting there, but we're gonna be a-okay. Now, we need to have enough space for the main event. The UNSC did not come unequipped for the challenge. We've got the UNSC Elephant, driven by one of the old articulation commandos. I love that guy. The Elephant is breaking through the ice cave and storming towards the banished encampment. We got some more of these. Now, the anti-air gun has unfortunately already destroyed the recon. This UNSC wasp, it was scouting out the area, maybe even just looking for foreigners, and it accidentally found the banished. Break these wings off here. The cover art for Halo Infinite actually has a downed wasp, so that's pretty iconic. And the wasp crashed straight into this ghost. This is from Scott McKee, Warmaster Customs. It's this old sort of PVC destruction of a ghost. We've got pieces flying everywhere. I love this thing. So this is going to be what the wasp crashed into. What should we add next? I think we've got some more UNSC vehicles incoming. The UNSC Cobra, the Forge Hog versus Banished. This is perfect for Halo Wars 2. And then we've got this Forerunner structure. Now this is what the Banished are gonna be defending up on this platform here. We'll have this Cobra in docking position, so it's ready to fire. We've got loads more banished vehicles, the Ghost, we've got a banished Goliath, and we've got a Goblin mech suit. I love this thing, it's so cool. Maybe we'll have that defending the cannon up there. The Kinsano Cyclops, that'll be dealing damage in the battlefield. We've got that 70s dude explosion with three Marines being hurtled through the air, pushing through into the facility, but they've just been blown up by the banished Goliath. We've got a couple more rocky formations, we'll lay them down in just a random order for now, and then, whoo, this is looking pretty good. I'm very happy with this. Now we've got way more figures than necessary. <laughs> We got so many cool figures here. We'll start with a couple of drop pods. These are just reinforcements for the banished. One of my favorites, Remnant Hunters. They are awesome figures. And Hunters hunt in pairs alongside Banished Goliath. Let's see what else we got. <laughs> Inspired by the art design of Halo Infinite, I decided to use all of my new Halo Combat Evolved Marines. 
And we got eight of these bad boys. They also kind of match the colour style of the Mega Construct Sergeant Forge, which is perfect. And this guy will be operating the Warthog. Warthog coming in! Such gorgeous figures. I cannot wait to get hold of some Halo Infinite ones too. Sergeant Forge here. He's going to be leading the charge, hopefully taking out some banished Halo Wars Spartans. Always amazing. We've got two metallic green ones, and then also another three from that 70s dude. His custom work is insane. Get them some weapons. Uh, Spirit Forge, we're going to need a little backup. Douglas is missing his helmet, so he's going to go on top of the elephant. Let's put Jerome on top of the elephant too. He's gonna be trying to take out that Banshee. Alice straight in the thick of it with Sergeant Ford. Two more of these red team Spartans gonna be trying to take out this ghost. Okay. It's getting a little difficult now to imagine exactly how this diorama is gonna go down because we don't have many banished. So let's start filling this encampment. We got three different armored silver elites. They're gonna be coming out of the main fortress. Three orange elites, all with energy swords. They'll have been coming out of these drop pods. I'm always inspired by the Halo Wars 2 cutscenes where Atriox just seems to have an army of Banished that's absolutely enormous. This is what I'm trying to achieve with this one. Oh <laughs> he lost both of his legs. We'll have three of these new articulation grunts. They'll all be by the Goblin. We'll have to have one inside. Now we've got all of these red Banished Elites and they're going to be going across this boardwalk and they'll be led by their leader, Shipmaster Letvolier, one of the main banished leaders in Halo Wars 2. Well, no, without a helmet, everything's fallen off today. There he is, ready to engage the enemy. Heresy, remove this filth! Okay, it's looking really good. Now, the banished thought they had this base locked down, but actually, some Spartans have already found their way in. We've got Lock. I know it's kind of not Halo Wars 2 canonical or anything, but we've got Locke with a jetpack. He's coming straight in. Ooh, dear. <laughs> Come back, Locke. I know people don't like you, but I do. So he's just blasting through these elites, and he's reinforced by Spartan Veil vale and Spartan Book, who I've kind of given some Call of Duty tack pads to, just for fun. In sort of Book style, kicking an elite right in the face. But it's not all victories here. We've got two Halo Wars 2 Marines. They've already been slaughtered and taken prisoner by Decimus, one of the war chieftains of the Banished. He's looking onto his kingdom after killing these guys, and he's gonna have some reinforcements as well. Here's Decimus's two right-hand men. <laughs> Sorry, that's just... Um... I guess that's normal, it's just it's Hamilton. Is it? Yeah. Here's Decimus's two right-hand brutes. They're gonna be either side of him here. And we've got two more banished brutes. And I know where they're gonna go. We've got the king of the show, the lord of the banished, Atriox. Once again, at that 70s dude custom. I guess it would only be appropriate that he's taking out Red Team, as he did in Halo Wars 2. And then we've got these two banished brutes from the brute customizer pack and this brute as well. They're all gonna be coming alongside Atriox. We'll have one of these old articulation elites driving the ghost because you don't really pay attention to him. And then I love this one. I used this in my uh, Banished reveal trailer. Sort of like translucent plasma rifles. We are losing literal daylight now, so we gotta get a move on. And you know, I like to use old articulation still, but I just put them at the back of the diorama because they don't need to be the focal point. Now, I know that uh, this isn't canonical at all, but I just want to include this Halo Heroes Jewel and Dharma because it's so cool. It's just so beautiful how it's translucent underneath his armor. It's so nice. So we're going to include him, we're going to cheat, put him in the game even though he died in Halo 5. Spoilers. Jewel and Dharma, he's kind of sneaking over here, incognito style. <laughs> We've not got too many more today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just going to add, as I always like to really do with dioramas, the Arbiter and the Master Chief, because they are the definition of iconic in Halo, and I guess they just happen to be in this battle as well. This is, this is taking place on the installation, so who knows? Master Chief has got that really nice green-tinted metallic assault rifle. Jewel and Dharma versus the Master Chief on this rocky mountaintop. 
There we go. Just gonna do some more tweaks and I'll get back to you in a minute. We are done. This is my Halo Wars 2 Banished slash Halo Infinite diorama, and I could not be happier with it. I can't believe it, because when I started making this today, we just had the bare table, and I know that some of the feedback from the last one that was that there was too much empty space. So we got this enormous tower, which has been sat in the attic collecting dust for like 10 years, and we kitted it out with more Banished than you could shake a stick at. And it really tells a story as well, which is what I like. The AA gun took out this wasp, which was the early reconnaissance, and then the UNSC, alerted of the Banished position, stormed through and are throwing everything they can at the battle. To point out some highlights, and I just love so much of this, this little elite ranger is really nice up here. I love that I got to use the goblin mech in the first diorama, and Decimus is always a really cool one too. Then I love that Fireteam Osiris are pushing through, they're the first to break the line, and they're about to just plow through these elites. I've actually altered it a little bit now, where I've got Kinsano fighting the two Legolo hunters. She's throwing one of them through the air, which is really badass. And the Arbiter versus this elite here, both in a standoff. The Banished really showing the Spartans who's boss, and also killing this Marine here. We've got, whoa! <laughs> I guess that's an auto light. <laughs> I guess that light's telling me I'm doing this diorama till too late at night. But we've got Forge here, charging through with Combat Evolved Marines. I mean, this is, this is incredible. I absolutely love this diorama. This is the fourth and final diorama while I'm in England. I hope you guys enjoy, and I hope I left it on a real high. Please enjoy this montage at the end of the video, and thank you very much for tuning in today. This video will come out while I am actually living in Hong Kong. I will have already made the transition and my life will have been turned upside down. So any support that you can give me on these videos is much appreciated. Thank you very much. Yeah. And there goes the light. No, come back. There we go. This was another video with the domain and the goblin mech suit is signing off.